Rub up your engines! <laughs> it's time for the Scotty Kilmer Channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can hook up a rear view mirror camera set up to your vehicle for less than 20 bucks. I found this kit on Amazon. I saw that it was less than 20 bucks and thought, heck, how could something that cheap actually work? But believe it or not, it really does and here's how. The monitor is built inside the rear view mirror assembly that just snaps right over your old one. Because the back has little springs that hold it in place. So you just put it over your old mirror and it snaps right in place. And what's cool is, it fits over your old mirror, so it's actually got a larger mirror on the new one, so in the daytime, you have a wider angle of view for seeing with your regular mirror. And hooking a camera up is pretty easy. Just screws over the license plate. You just put the license plate screws in it, and it's in place. And since this is a van, you fish the wires through the back panel, and you can feed them to the backup lights. In this case, the backup lights are here, so we'll just go inside to where the backup lights are and hook the wires up inside. With the backup lights on, you have the key turned on with the engine off so they come off when you put it in reverse. Then just follow it in and see which one of these wires has power to it. That's the backup light. You can use a simple test light and when you plug into the one that has power, it lights up and you know that's the power for the backup lights. Then you splice the power wire to that one and the black ground wire to the ground of the body. That then supplies power and ground to the camera, so the camera operates when you have it in backup mode. But then comes the hassle part. You gotta get the long wire, that's the video cable, and you gotta fish it through the body so that it comes out the front next to the mirror. Now if you don't want to mess with these wires, and you're not as cheap as me, you just have to spend another $13.99, and you can get a wireless video set up, so you can just do it wirelessly. You can hook one up on one end and one on the other, and you don't have to have wires connecting them. Then you hook up the positive and negative wires that go to the rear view mirror to power that. And wanting to be neat, I'm hiding them behind here so they'll hook up to the power for the radio. Because when the car's running, the radio always has power. It'll work fine. And once it's all hooked up, when we put the car in reverse, watch what happens. We now have a fully functioning backup light camera. Which one you shift back into drive? Then just turns into a normal mirror. Although it is wider, so it actually has a better field of view. So if you want to install a backup light camera on your car, you can't beat this for $19.97. I was really shocked. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done driving this car.